all right so let's get straight into it i did get my hair braided two days ago and my sister put this wig in my hair and so i'm actually gonna do my hair last because it's just really quick all you gotta do is spray some water on this and um hot comb the top of it and then mousse it and it's curled so at night what i do is i braid this up so that it doesn't get tangly and it's not so difficult for me to brush so i'm just gonna go like this to try and get it as much out of my face as possible just tie it up boop and i also have a clip that i can use just to make sure it stays out of my face and i'll have to like redo my edges and everything that's fine um i do have on a wrap as you guys can see if you are african um some people call them wrap some people call them malapa i usually call them malapa i did get my lashes done so first i'm gonna just Fluff on my lashes. Ooh. And if y'all are in Brooklyn and want to know where I go to, I can link her Instagram down below. She does a really good job. She's not that. She's like, she's not that expensive. Like, I've spent like 120 130 for lashes, and I only paid 90 for the hybrid set. So... If that's in your price range, you go right ahead. So first I need to prep my skin and get into some skincare. So I already washed my face. I brushed my teeth. I'm getting ready to go to a lunch. So I'm gonna start with this vitamin C serum. I got it from TJ Maxx. They, in their skincare session, they have a lot of good skincare. And this is on clean skin, skincare that isn't that expensive. Like it's extremely affordable. If you're ever looking for like, I would say skincare. Like okay, I can't afford Tatcha right now, or I just need a quick serum. Whenever I go to TJ Maxx, the first thing I get is like candles. And then I look in the skincare out to see if I like anything or if I want to try anything new. I love getting sheet masks from there. And um, eye patches. And then I'm going to go in with this Hyaluronic Hydro Boost Serum. And this is something that I love to wear under my makeup because I have really dry skin. And like even in the um, summer my skin will still get dry patches so even though it's hot and you would think like oh it's the it's more moisture in the air i still get dry patches from my eczema especially right on my cheeks and around my mouth i put a little bit right here i really need to redo my edges so this is going to be a very light makeup look because honestly, I don't need makeup. But I wanted to film a video before I go on vacation just so that I can put this video up real quick to keep up with the content and that, you know, I don't fall behind. And I haven't done a get ready with me in a minute. Um, so now I'm going to go in with the glowfifth.com glow fifth eye serum and i really love this eye serum it's so hydrating as you can see i have a little bit of darkness under my eyes which is natural and so i just use my finger oh my god i'm obsessed with my nails right now and literally i just use like what comes up on the cat with eye serums, your eye is so delicate. You don't want to add. I just put a little up here too. Um, you don't want to overpower that part of your eye because that skin is different, and um, 
you don't want to put too much product and weigh it down and you see how that just woke me up okay okay so now that that's done i had to go switch my lighting because i felt like i was looking dark on camera i am going to then let this sit for like a minute or two which i have while i was changing the lighting and i let it soak into my skin as a good layer as you can see i went to get a facial yesterday and my skin is getting a lot better it's a process and you have to be consistent so i once i like find a person that i really like i will take you guys in with me to get the facials so you guys can see what i'm doing to my skin because i'm really trying to get like this hyperpigmentation from the scars um this area i really have light acne and so i and i think that's honestly just not for mm, excuse me not from double cleansing so I'm going in with the Cyate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. And as you can see, like, I make, in the winter, I put on thicker primers and, um, what's this thing called? Foundations and creams and stuff. When I am in the summertime for my summer makeup, I try to use very light jelly formulas because like look at the glow look at the glow and i always do this do you see that and that's just to I know my hair probably looks a little crazy, but we're going to get everything together. So my products really haven't changed that much. I just try to use like lighter, jellier um, foundation. So I'm just going to put on like a base just to give myself like a fire base. I'm not going to fill in my brows like that. I will put in... Um, Use a brow gel. I don't need any lashes. And that's the one good thing about when I get my lashes done. I don't feel like I need to do anything extra. Like base. Period. And this is like my go to like summer slash vacation makeup. So. Okay, so now that that's done. I had to go switch my lighting. Because I felt like I was looking dark on camera. I am going to then let this sit for like a minute or two which i have while i was changing the lighting and i let it soak into my skin as a good layer as you can see i went to get a facial yesterday and my skin is getting a lot better it's a process and you have to be consistent so I, once I like find a person that I really like, I will take you guys in with me to get the facials so y'all can see what I'm doing to my skin because I'm really trying to get like this hyperpigmentation from the scars and um, this area. I really have light acne and so I and I think that's honestly just not for mm, excuse me, not from double cleansing. So I'm going in with the Cyate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. And as you can see, like, I make, in the winter, I put on thicker primers and, um, what's this thing called? Foundations and creams and stuff. When I am in the summertime for my summer makeup, I try to use very light jelly formulas because like look at the glow look at the glow and i always do this do you see that and that's just to I know my hair probably looks a little crazy, but we're going to get everything together. So my products really haven't changed that much. I just try to use like 
lighter jellier um foundation so i'm just gonna put on like a base just to give myself like a fire base i'm not gonna fill in my brows like that i will put in um use a brow gel i don't need any lashes and that's the one good thing about when i get my lashes done i don't feel like i need to do anything extra like base period and this is like my go-to like summer slash vacation makeup so i'm going based off of my normal routine i'm gonna go in with the fenty matchstick and truffle and start contouring my face and it's crazy because i think that this um this this kind of way of doing makeup is so much better especially in the um summertime like because you don't want to have so many layers and it's just crazy how it just comes full circle and like you see i'm using minimum product and this is just to get my face some structure and i'm gonna go in with my brush and blend that out so with summer makeup, you try to look go for like my skin but better. And I feel like the best way to get that look is to make yourself look very hydrating. And not put too much product where it's like, oh my gosh, she has all these layers on her face. Like you want to just look like, dang, this is flawless. And so I've already been like, I don't know naturally learning more about makeup i've been transitioning into like less makeup like not always wearing full coverage unless i need to before i used to be like heavy on the full coverage you should not be able to see a pore nothing and now i'm more like glowy skin um my skin but better um, I'm not really big on like I am like big on the cheek face contouring but like nose contouring I'm not I never was big on but like just looking like a better let me not say a better because I look like a baddie with or without makeup but like a flawless base a you look like you getting a gal in the water and so, like, you're not going to see me today put on layering so many products, especially when it comes to concealers. It's like, okay, we don't need the brightest under eye. And that's usually my thing. I love a bright under eye. We just want to look bronzed and, like, ready to go. Okay, now that that is in my skin... I'm gonna go in with some I'm gonna highlight highlight I'm gonna continue to use the matchstick and this is a beautiful trio to get if you're a beginner using makeup and I'm gonna use two different products to highlight so for like this area and this is just like a shade lighter than my face The center of his, and then right here. And see how natural that looks? And then I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline in the shade Honey, their stick, and go right under my eye. And you see how little product I'm using? And just to lift it, I'm going to put it right here too. Very little product. And this is for people that have dry skin. 
Okay, now I let it sit for a second before I blend it out. And I will go ahead and spray my aloe and rose water spray. It's from Pearl Essence. It's a smoothing, a smoothing face mist. Again, hydrating. Aloe is very hydrating. Rose water perks up the skin, makes you look very happy. You want to look happy. So I'm going to take my buffing brush, and this is from Morphe. It's the M439, and just start. So with that... And doing my forehead and you just kind of learn as you start doing makeup what um, products really go well together so if you're thinking about hydrating products really look at what these products are made of and you see And I'm going right to the tip part of my eye. And I let that sit a little bit longer before I blend it out. got to um damp my sponge but i use this juno and co um microfiber sponge i found out about it maybe a year or two ago maybe two years through Alyssa ashley and i've been loving it ever since so you see how this is not fully blended just gonna go in with a tad more right here and i'm gonna take this sponge and just blend it out and you're gonna take it all the way to the lash line and so if you usually watch my videos you know that i use a really light i usually use a really light concealer shade and look at the brightness it's subtle it's pretty it's light but it's not dramatic it's not giving full face beat it's not taking away from the rest of the face and it looks very natural and so this is the face so far so lastly I literally use like one pump of this foundation and it is my favorite foundation It is the NARS Creamy Radiant, oh, wrong thing, NARS Radiant Long Wear Foundation in the shade Caracas. And I use this, literally, this might be too much. A very little amount, and I'll take it, actually... Um, I'm going to use uh, this brush and I'm going to go in spots and you want to use this, sh this foundation because it's very, um, I want to say it has a really a high coverage. I would say a medium coverage and I would say that this foundation is just beautiful and look at that and honestly, I'm just using it to cover like the darkness around my face around my mouth blend the contour and the highlighted areas the center of the face and then around the forehead and look at that 
the least amount of foundation that I need to use. And I'm just blending it out. Tapping, stippling, however you want to call it. Just blending it out. And making sure I'm, I didn't color correct. I didn't add too many layers. None of that. And boom. This face is almost done. And I'm going to spray again. I love the contents within this spray, but I am not a big fan of the sprayer. It's like, ooh, I'm scared. But you do feel wet. Okay, so a good another good powder to use is the Dang, why am I minute forgetting this powder? Lord Mercier the Laura Mercier powder, but I'm actually going to be using the Hourglass Veil Translucing Setting Powder. And so I actually have the travel size. I have the bigger one, but since I'm traveling, this was already like out, so I'm going to use it. And literally, I'm using the slightest amount of powder. And I'm going to do my under eye first. You want to use a very fine powder. Now, I love the Fenty powder because of the color and the extra coverage that it gives. But we don't need all of that. Like, we're going for, like, the light basic look. And I love this sponge because it's so soft. Okay, and then I'm going to do my nose this area and i literally just like after i do my under eye and i like the way my under eye is looking i do the rest of my face and i just and literally this is how much powder is in here and i'm just using the rest to set when you have dry skin and it's summer you don't have to use as much powder because your skin is dry so like adding all the excess powders and all the extra stuff like you don't absolutely need it okay now that the face is like almost set i'm gonna go in with a very um what is this this is a flat powder brush and just dust off any excess You want to be very careful around the under eye. Can you see the under eye is still bright? Now this is all compared to your preference. I am trying to go as light as possible. I don't want that much product on my face. I want to look like my skin but better. And so to just go back and add more um, shape dimension to my face i'm going to bronze and i'm going to contour my nose a little bit because it's a little flat right now for my bronzer i'm going to use the take it home bronze by the bomb and i'm using this kind of brush it's like just a regular brush and honestly what i like to do is just go right here into the brow my favorite place to start contouring and just bring that in over here yeah and then I just start bringing it down on the sides of my nose it doesn't have to be such a big difference and this is just to bring the natural shape I already have I'm not trying to make my nose skinny no Okay, that same brush that I used to blend out my contour, I'm going to go in with this bronzer. The shade is Greg. And I just start tapping in the hollow of my cheeks. You see how that just starts to snatch the face? 
now some people like a very red bronzer i have a yellow and golden undertone so like those red shades look like blush and they tend to get very messy on my face so i try to use like warm but not too warm because i will look crazy very quickly and we're just you know shaving the pounds off just shaving a couple of pounds off with this and i like to finish off a doubling bronzing with the shade coco naughty one of my favorite bronzers and i use this even when it's winter time as you can see it's used and i just And I like my face to look really lifted and youthful. So I concentrate most of my bronzer right here in the temple of the face. And then I will do lightly here. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to go in one more time with this translucent powder just to give a little bit, clean up some things. And so literally I'm just tapping. Just cleaning up. This side looks good. Cleaning up. And this is going to add a little brightness to boom. Let's blend this out. And I'm going to let this sit while I, um, add some blush and I've really been into blush lately and I'm usually using like a purple brush but I think I'm gonna use like more of an orange place orange based blush if I can find one if I can't find one I'm going to have to use a eyeshadow so i'm actually gonna have to end up using a eyeshadow and i love this palette it's the violet voss palette i take it whenever i go on vacation and it has these shades they always look good and i'm gonna um use this pretty peach i use this even for face makeup so i will put silk to highlight i will use between teddy and chocolate to contour and then i will use these two shades to um use as blush and then i'll use this champagne as highlighter if i have to so sometimes you have to be resourceful like you don't always have to buy so many palettes and have so much makeup like you need to have stuff that will work no matter what and so i am just concentrating that right here and see how that's just bringing some light to the face. This is pretty. And I'm not like, I try not to get too excessive on the blush. Okay. Dang, this face is beat. It's beat. And they don't even know. Because it's giving, what, what makeup? What makeup do you see? Boop, boop, boop. Okay, now that this is done, we're gonna go and spray the face one more time with setting spray and I'm gonna use 
the Fenty setting spray. I love the way this mist comes out. And what I might even do once this bottle is done, um, buy another bottle, of course, but then add this essence into this sprayer because I love, it's just luxury. Okay. How this is going. And so what I do is I just brush up my lashes a little bit. My lashes, my eyebrows. Just so the hairs, I just got them done, so they're cute. All right, I'm gonna, let's get right into the hair. We need to get into the hair. It's now or never. Okay, so I'm just taking out the braid that I have in here right now. Um, I put four braids in last night. I feel like the top looks fine. With curly hair, you don't want to add too many different products. And you want to just keep your hair together. And so I just unravel it. okay guys so my camera died of course and i had to actually hurry up and step out but i did choose this to be a really good time to come back and show you guys what my makeup looked like um i didn't the only thing i added to my makeup after we spoke was this highlighter um, the Fenty Diamond Bombed How Many Carrots, period. I love this highlighter. And I added a brow gel. Where did I put it? I literally just got back in the house. It's hot today. So you saw my makeup. Here it is. The Trestique. And this side has this brown eyebrow gel. It's tinted. And this is what's giving that look. So, I literally been outside in 90... What's this? 98 degree weather? 95 degree... Let's just say 95 degree weather. It's New York. And it's really hot. It's humid. It's sticky. I've been wearing a mask because, of course, we're in the time of a panorama. And this is what my makeup looks like. Ooh, not y'all seeing my hair. This is what my makeup looks like. And as you can see, it does not look bad. Yes, I can go in and touch it up. So I'm gonna go in and touch it up on camera. And for the touch up, I'm actually gonna use the powder and honey because it has a little bit of coverage in it. And I'm gonna use a powder brush. This one. And I'm just tapping that in. So you can see the elasticity of the makeup. And you see how I'm like super shiny here? It doesn't bother me, but I will touch it up for you guys. Like the shiny just makes me feel like it looks more natural. Ooh. and it's still giving like medium coverage my skin but better but i wanted to come back on here and show y'all like what i look like and i have on a dress from the 
I think this is Old Navy actually. And it's like a strappy dress. Let me put y'all back. So this is what the dress looks like. It's about knee length. And this was what I wore out to dinner with some white sandals and my brown pat my brown purse from Shein. Um, I put my hair up because it was so hot and I was wearing it down all day and it was just sticking to my back like it's hot outside and this is what it looks like and i'm just gonna step up close so y'all can see my skin it looks like i do have makeup on but very minimal amount of makeup and it has held through um how many hours seven eight hours of heat like i've been outside 98 degrees and this is why i love this routine i still look good i still look like okay yeah your makeup is a little worn but it's not like oh you look like a grease monkey you should just take this off so well, let me get y'all back in the lighting so i just hope you guys enjoyed this video i want to put this out as soon as possible because i am going to dominican republic tomorrow in the morning i'm gonna actually film myself packing but i wanted to get this small video out for you for a taste and i hope you guys enjoy y'all gonna see a lot of vlogs this week it's up it's up and it's stuck and my summer has started summer is my favorite time of year it's my birthday time it's outside time, it's barbecue time, it's being cute and basically naked time. Um, the outfits are coming. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram at honeycomb718. Um, I have a Twitter, I have Facebook, all of those things will be down link below. I have a TikTok, I've been on TikTok consistently. So, the videos are out. What are you doing? What are you doing? So I hope you guys love this video. Let me know down below what other videos you would like to see. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.